Hello everyone, welcome to another maths lesson with me, Mr. Ben. Today we're moving on from addition and subtraction. We're looking at counting in tens, okay? Now, counting in tens, just to remember, n a ten, any number that ends in a zero, so ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy. 80, 90, 100. And I've got here a bead string. Look at it here. Now, if I was looking at these bead strings and I asked you to count how many beads there are that you can see, how would you do that? You could count every bead. One, two, three. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. There's 20 beads. You counted every bead, but it took a long time. So what you can do, you can use your knowledge of the bead string and know that each group, each block of colour, is 10. So what you could do is count and go count in tens. There's two groups of 10. One, two. So 10. 20. 10, 20. Okay, two groups of 10, 10, 20. Let's have a look at another one. Right now, how many groups of 10 have I got? 1, 2, 3. So how many beads have I got? So three groups of 10, so 10, 20, 30. Carry on. Now, to bend it a little bit. There we go. Right now, how many groups have I got now? One, two, three, four. How many beads have I got? So now I know each group is ten, so I just have to count in tens. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty. Okay. Now, to do this lesson, we need to practice skip counting in ten. So just remind yourself how we do that. So, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Right, now, on your worksheet, you've got this worksheet here in your maths booklet. I want you to have a go this. So, how many groups of beads are there? Let's see. Well, there are one, two groups of beads. There's two groups of beads here. And that means there are 10, 20, because I'm skip counting in tens there. Okay, have a go at this one and this one. Why don't you do that? Now, okay, there's three questions there for you to do. So pause the video now, do your sheet, and then I'll go through the answers. Okay, let's go through the answers. So this next question, how many groups of 10 are there? One, two, three, four, five. Five groups of 10. So that means, how many beads are there? Some of you might know already. 10. 20, 30, 40, 50, 50 beads. You might notice that when there are five groups, the number is 50. Just like when there were two groups, the number is 20. Next one. How many groups are there? One, two, three. There are how many groups of 10? Three. How many beads are there? 10, 20, 30. Again, well done. Last one. How many groups are there? Well, there's just one group there. How many beads are there? 10. I didn't need to count all those beads. I knew that there was 10 in each group. So I didn't have to count any of them, did I? I just saw how many groups of 10 were there. And 
then counted in tens. Okay. Once you've done that, there's two challenge sheets for you to do here. This first one is complete the sequence. So putting the missing 10 there. So 10, 20, 30. Oh, what comes next? 40. And look at the next one. Missing number. Missing number. Okay. So have a go at that. And then have a go at filling in this sheet as well with the missing 10. Okay. Once you've done that, I'll go through the answers with you. So, pause here, do this sheet, and this sheet, and I'll go through the answers for you afterwards. Okay, we're using those skip counting in 10 skills. So, 10, 20. Let's check that's right. 10, 20, 30, 40. Yeah. 40. 60, 70, next one, 70, 80, 90, 100. Right, same thing again, we're using this number line here to help us. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Fill in the tens that are running off the kite. So 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Remember, if you haven't finished this yet, you should pause it now and go through it and then stop for the answers. Next one 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Next one 0, 10, 20, 30. 40, next one, something, 40, something, 60, oh, well, it's a bit of a challenge, but I know that 50 becomes, comes in there, so 40 before 40 must be 30, and after 60 must be 70, okay, well done if you got that one. Now this one, what do I notice here? 50, 40, the numbers are getting smaller. So I need to go backwards, 40, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. Well done if you notice that. And again, let's do it, it gets smaller again. 90, 80, 70, 60, 50. Okay. Well done for your hard work today. Um, that's the end of our sequence of math lessons for now. And... Make sure you bring all of your maths work into school with you when you come back. Uh, or you can email photos of for primary home learning because we will be using this stuff that we've learnt to carry on our learning. It's really important that you're doing these things so that we don't forget what we've already learnt, okay? Make sure you bring all of this into school with you so we can go through it together. Okay. Thanks and goodbye. I'll see you soon.